So, this has probably happened to you. You play through a game series that, once it was over, you felt that it had wrapped up its story nicely and that it told you what it wanted to. You felt satisfied you, that you saw the adventure all the way through to the end and then you shelf it away, you kind of move on, just forget about it, you know, as you do. But then, years later, you discover, and this is probably by pure chance, that the developers are talking about making a sequel. But instead of being full of jubilation, going like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to see what happens next. You just start asking questions uh, like, why? And how? And you probably guessed that that's exactly what happened to me with the Siberia series. They are these uh, somber yet hopeful games about a woman's journey starting in France and going seemingly all over the world. They have a great story, interesting characters and challenging puzzles. And they are my favorite point and clicks. I have so many great memories of puzzling over them all hours of the night. And when I was done, I felt nice and full on the games and like I said that they had shown me what they wanted to, so I was very surprised to find that there was a sequel in the making. I only vaguely remember reading something about them, them meaning Mikroy, now owned by Anuman, making a sequel. In fact, it's such a long time ago that it's only by chance that I'm browsing Amazon late last year and Siberia 3 Collector's Edition pops up, and I think to myself, that can't be right. But it was. And it is. And now I have it here, it's ready to install, but it's been such a long time that I barely remember the two first games. And come to think about it and reading up on it, it seems that they've been talking about making the game for just about... Ugh, shit, I'm old. 12, maybe 13 years? And I mean, fuck me, that's like, it's almost as long as Duke Nukem Forever was in development, hell. So it's not looking too promising. But there is only one way to find out if it's worth it, I mean, that's by playing the bloody thing. But. Since it's been so many years, I want to go back to the two originals and get a refresher course on the story and the characters and, you know, just play a game I really like. And while I'm at it, I might as well record it. That way I get to show you a game that's near and dear to my heart and talk about why I like it so much. And hopefully you like it too. Hi, I'm Mist and I hope you join me as we point and click our way through the Siberia series. Our journey begins in a small, sleepy village in the French Alps, known as Valadilen. But first, there's a few technical things I want to go over real quick. Now I'm playing this game in a virtual machine. I have tried this on XP 7, 8 and 10 virtual machines. This is a 10 virtual machine. And the game runs just fine if you just install it via the GOG installer. I haven't tested with the Steam version and you just launch the game with the shortcut it puts on your desktop. On 8 and 7, and presumably XP as well, you have to go to the game folder and then start up game.exe instead, and then it will run proper. I will see if I have some video of it lying around. If you, in 7 and 8, just start the game via the desktop shortcut, it will look like uh, the fucking thing is stuck in the void. The graphics will be all like like it's non-textured and, and you, there will be traces of, of movement, like shadowing all over the place. It looks bonkers. I'll actually see if I get some footage of that. That's much easier to just, just show you. It, it, it looks absolutely amazing. I found out this uh, fix by going to the GOG forums. Very great place if you have any problems with these old games it it seems like no matter what it is no matter how obscure uh, or just like it's only me that has that problem you know those problems like ah oh, it's only gonna be me that has this problem but you go on the forums and they'll be like oh if you tried this you see there's 
like GG Voodoo 2, you could try that emulates all the graphic cards. It's such a great help, it's such a great resource. There is also, of course, a few technical things from me being uh, s still rusty getting back into recording and haven't done it where I want quality in, 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 in ever. So there's a, it's going to be some audio and, and visual stuff. So I'll apologize for that right here while I have the opportunity. I will do whatever I can to fix it. And you can see, for example, here I have this nice border that I've made for this. So it, it isn't just a black screen. So there's some things I can help. There are things I can't help. And um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. That's, that's how it is, right? Alright, but uh, before I start rambling too much, I think we'll just go ahead and start up the game. <laughs> 